Today we're going to learn to write the letter Ra, Za, and Alwarith. Let's get started. Start with one nukta. This will define the width of the upper stroke, and your pen will start out 90 degrees, so vertical. And we're going to make an S curve. Height of it being two and a half nuktas. The bottom half of the Ra is going to continue for another two and a half nuktas. One, two and a half. For the bottom half, position your pen at about 70 degrees and overlapping about half your previous stroke. Come down and lift this side up to complete the stroke. The resulting shape here will have a length of approximately six to seven nuktas. Two, three, four, five, six. Six to seven is, is reasonable. And then you can add the starting detail at top following the same angle and adding a small point to it. Once again, we can define the width as one nukta, the height, total height is five nuktas, and the center is at two and a half. So this will be our starting point. Vertical, come down in an S curve at about 70 degrees, and then lift bottom edge of the pen away and complete this. Come back at the same angle, detail at the top. That defines one nukta width. We can work off the same height as before. That'll be our middle point. Vertical, sweep that S curve from here. Once more, the width is one nukta. The height is five, two, three, four, five. We're aiming for a midpoint. Start with the pen vertical, make a S curve. And then from here, angle the pen at about 70 degrees. Come across and lift the bottom edge as you go. And then complete this detail on the finish. Uh, today from the Ismail Husna, I'm going to choose al warith which means the inheritor, the one that will truly inherit everything. This makes a good use of some of the letters we've learned, including Alif. Lam. Which connects into Wow. We have an Aleph again. I'm going to place this one a bit higher. And we have a Tha. And I'm going to line that up kind of at an angle with these two letters. I'm going to place the tha first before the ra.
and then going to finish with the Ra to overlap. Once again, Aleph, Lam, which rolls into the Wow, another Aleph. And again, I'm going to place the tha first, just so I can maintain my balance in the design. And then finish with the ra with an overlap. I hope you found that helpful. Please be sure to share and subscribe. See you next time. God bless.